Hey guys, today I thought I'd make a video about my Genesis Abstract and the V2900. I wanted to make a video of the same and the differences about both of these bikes. Now I'm sure no one's done this kind of video before, but I'm the only one that's going to do this. So let's get started on the Abstract. First, the Genesis Abstract comes with 29, 29 inch wheels on it and it has you know disc and it's got a Genesis logo on it this one was actually from the V2900 um, this one's a good bike it's got plastic pedals so does the V29 over there if you guys can see it and it has a rear it has a 29 inch rear wheel on it too so it's a it's a full size mountain bike, men's with front and rear sus with front and rear suspension, which is actually nice if you, if you're going over bumps. This one's good. It's got a uh, 21 speed derailleur on it, Shimano. And now the Genesis V2900 over here has uh, same grips on the handlebars. These are micro shifters. They're a little di di different. These are the same grips as the V2900. Let's see. These are the same ones as like the Abstract, but this one had these grips on it first. Before this, before that bike. So. So yeah. And this bike, as you guys saw a couple days ago, actually has like you know, as I said, 24 inch wheels on it. It doesn't really have a disc, that's fake. It doesn't work, it doesn't have a caliper. They, although, they do make these same bikes with the the caliper. So, it, the, um, those kind is equipped with, is equipped with disc. This one has a full disc that completely works. This one, actually, this one over here, um, now I'm going, now I'm telling you guys the differences, and before I do the same, I'm doing the differences. This one doesn't have any brakes on it. I forgot to tell you that in my other video. Uh, so this one has a subframe. This one's white. This one is white. This subframe is white. No chain. Although, over here on the abstract, it has a chain. It has a chain, and they're in those black subframe is actually nicer on this one there is no rust in the rear shock actually there's no rust in the bolts either on this one next is this one is missing all the cables this one has all the cables because it's Actually, a Shimano equipped. This one over here was actually Shimano equipped. This one has the V2900 stickers on it because it's the actual V29. So, sorry for my sniffling. I think it's pollen season now. So, this one has uh, another Walmart bike seat on it. It's from my BMX Brawler you heard about a couple days ago. It's good. That's not stock. That, that seat's not stock. So... Now this seat here that you see here on the bike on this bike actually came from this bike. And on this bike it, ha it doesn't have the the black thing right here. The black thing right there. And another thing about this that's different about kind of actually not the same about this bike is that it has the same tires as the abstract has all the seven gears it's a 21 speed mountain bike from Walmart so these are the same tires and they look a little worn but they're not that bad and then look at these these are more worn because I've been using this bike that's why they look like they're that's why it looks like they have a little bit more I mean less tread so this one has all the parts, it has all the, 
This one has all the screws in it. It's got two there, two here, and it has the top piece with the KCT on it, and then it has the bolt. On here, we're, we only have one bolt, and there's, there's one missing for the top, and then it doesn't have the KCT top piece with the screw on it on this one. It doesn't have that. This bike doesn't have that. So, next thing is... Um, my abstract doesn't have this lever. Doesn't have that. Because it's, because it's disc equipped. I just made that up. That's not real, but it's disc equipped. That's how I call it. Um, this one doesn't have a kickstand. Um, this one a, a while ago, back when I made videos about this bike, um, it had a kickstand, but it doesn't now. This one, this one has the same exact kickstand. Pretty sure I have the kickstand to my V29 to that bike. Pretty sure I still have the same one. But this is the kickstand that comes with the V29, but also comes with the abstract. So, this is the lock. I'll show you. See, it's locked. And that's unlocked. Locked. You can lock, unlock the kickstand. It holds it better if it's locked, so that's why I have it on lock all the time. So, this, between these two bikes, they are both good. So, this one I use for a coasting bike. Sorry, don't mind my sniffling. Um, uh, but yeah, so this one I use for a coasting bike because, you know, I can't get a chain on it right now. But I will soon, I'm pretty sure. I'm not 100% sure, but I might. So, um, yeah. So, like I said, the tires on this are good. There's no dry rot. There's, it's not leaking air. Um, but actually, I have a little story to tell you about this front tire. This front tire actually had a leaking issue, but I replaced this front tire. So, it's still hard like it's supposed to be. Um, the differences between the abstract and this bike is that this one... The abstract right right over here is actually black, yellow, green, and blue. And this one over here is is blue and white. And black because it's got the black handlebars too. So everything on here is stock except for the tires and the seat and the um, you know. So I oiled these shocks and these shocks over here on the abstract is already oiled. It came oiled when I got it out of the box. Abstract. And then it's supposed to say it's supposed to say V2900, but it says V290 right now. Cuz I ripped half the sticker off. So, alrighty guys, so have a good day. That's the differences between the Genesis V2900 and the Genesis Abstract. And I took these Genesis stickers, this one, and that one. I took those two stickers off the, off, off, um, that part right there on my V29. So, hope you enjoy this video. Um, have a good evening, and I'll make some more videos soon. Have a great week, guys.